So I've been a casual anime viewer for some time now, and while I usually prefer to binge a show once it's finished, I've been sort of getting into watching them as they air, and it's sort of exciting to see what will happen next piece by piece, and I thought it'd be fun to share a video about my thoughts on the winter anime that have been airing. However, since they're in the middle of airing, my opinion of them may change depending on later episodes. And if you don't see a show here that you've been watching, it's probably because I haven't seen it. First up is After the Rain, a show about a 17-year-old Akira Tachibana falling in love with her 45-year-old manager, Masami Kondo. Both are at critical points in their life, and through their interactions they grow as people. And so far I've been kind of enjoying the show, because it's not about the rainbows and sunshine of romance that a lot of shows tend to depict. In fact, the romance is pretty one-sided, and I sort of appreciate that. Both characters are suffering hardships in their own way, and the show is more about them overcoming those hardships. And there's a lot of show don't tell, which I also appreciate, because there's a lot of shows like Your Lie in April, where the main character just sort of narrates everything, and it's sort of charming to have it just be visually represented and have you think of it, as opposed to just being told what someone is feeling or thinking. I highly recommend checking out After the Rain. Darling in the Franks. Humanity now lives in a fort city known as Plantation, and the children live in a place known as the Birdcage. Their purpose in life is to fight mysterious organisms known as Klaxosaurs, using mechs called Franks. The show is animated by Studio Trigger, and for those who don't know, they're pretty good at their job. Their shows are always full of energy and excitement, and Darling in the Franks is no exception. The writing is actually pretty great too, with characters feeling very fleshed out, despite some common archetypes found in a lot of other anime. But honestly, I don't see it as too much of a problem, especially when you have high energy fights that are an absolute spectacle to watch. It's legally available on Crunchyroll and Funimation, so I highly recommend checking it out. Laid Back Camp I honestly don't know how to explain Laid Back Camp. Much like my love for the arcade game Space Harrier, I have... There, I can't. The, the title just sort of describes it just fine. It's a laid-back show about camping. There's no conflict, there's no plot, there's no dark twists or anything like that. It's just a group of girls who hang out, go camping, and crack jokes. And really, that, that's kind of all it needs to be. I highly recommend the show if you just want something relaxing and fun. And sometimes there's a little camping trivia thrown in this. It's kind of neat. Right? A little bit? Mitsurugi, Mitsubishi, Mitsuru Kurijo, Mitsuboshi Colors. This is an adorable show about the adventures of Colors, a group of girls who are devoted to protecting their town. But really, it's just an excuse for them to run around and play games. Sometimes they go to the park, sometimes they go to the zoo, sometimes they torture the security officer. It's full of jokes and shenanigans, and it makes me sort of nostalgic for the childhood I never had because I never had friends. I recommend checking it out if you want a few laughs. It's legally available on High Dive. Although, now that I think about it, they haven't dubbed the show yet, but if they were to dub the show, I could honestly see them going two ways. Either a cute kid show, or they could go the Shin-Chan route and dub it for adults. Okay, we are colors, and we're here to shoot you in the dick. You may beg for your life, and we shall consider sparing you. Where did you girls buy a rocket launcher? That is none of your concern, demon! Fine, fine. Just don't hurt anyone, okay? Aim below the belt, girls! Fire! Wait a sec. Uh, oh, God! Seven Deadly Sins 2. Now this is a show I wanted to talk about, but really I'm not able to... And that's why I really enjoy Pop Team Epic, despite a sort of weak first episode. It's legally available on Crunchyroll and High Dive and Funimation. It's a, it's a good time. Go watch the show. It's fun. And those are my thoughts on the winter anime of 2018. So let me know what you guys think about these shows or if you have recommendations for maybe other shows or gaming topics, let me know. I might cover them in future episodes of whatever the hell I'm doing here. I, I don't know how to end videos.